Hi Henry, hi Cora, hi Bonnie, hi everybody. This is The Foolish Tortoise by Eric Carl. Actually, it's pictures by Eric Carl, but the story is by Richard Buckley. He's the author. A tortoise, tired of being slow, impatient to get up and go, took off his large and heavy shell and left it lying where it fell. Hooray, he cried, now I've been freed. I'll see the world at double speed. Though faster, he was not express. Oops, he's hiding. And his protection was far less, so when he heard a hornet's drone, the tortoise crept beneath a stone. A hungry bird came swooping past. He looked so fierce and flew so fast, the tortoise hid beside, behind some trees, and he felt quite weak in the knees. Do you see him hiding from the bee? Yep, you do. And do you see him hiding from the bird? Right behind the tree. I don't feel safe. There's too much risk. If only I could be more brisk. He headed for the riverbed. A fish swam up and the tortoise fled. I'm having trouble turning the page. <gasps> Along his way, our hero went and almost had an accident. A snake with open jaws slid near. The tortoise backed away in fear. A hare, a hound, two horses raced by, a horse raced by, so rapidly they seemed to fly. The tortoise gasped, sat, goggle-eyed, gasped. I'll never be that quick, he sighed. I don't even see him in that picture. Just the fast animals. I don't see him. He wandered on, the sun rose high. I wish I had more shade, he cried. A sudden thunderstorm swept in and soaked the tortoise to the skin. The wind rose up and soon the breeze was bending the branches of the trees. The tortoise shivered, now I'm cold. I wish I hadn't been so bold. I think I've lost the urge to roam. I think it's time that I went home. Without my shell, I don't feel right. So when his shell came into sight, He climbed back in and he said, good night. Good night, Mr. Tortoise. That's the end. Hope you liked it.